Cameron, now that we know all about the seasons you helped teach us, let's talk about where you come from. How are clouds formed? Sure, that's a great question, Ashley. And looking up at the sky, we have a lot of clouds we can look at just today in our own backyard. Sure can. So in order to study clouds a little bit better today, we get to do a fun art activity. Are you guys excited on board with me? Yes! Great. There's just a couple of things we're gonna need. Today, we're gonna actually make a model of clouds, making our very own salt Play-Doh. Do you know what kind of model I'm talking about? Um, explain it to me. Well, Cameron, do you have any toys or things at home that you might use to study or play with something that is too big to keep in your own bedroom? Maybe you have some toy cars or toy plane, and that's a model of something larger. So we can study it a little bit better. All you're gonna need is some flour, some salt, a measuring cup, just one cup is good, a wooden spoon, and a bowl for mixing. Are you ready? I'm ready! Alright Cameron, let's go! Yeah. Perfect. Now that you have your ball of dough, our model of clouds, we can study clouds. But wait, is our dough made out of the same thing that our clouds are made out of? Huh, why don't you guys look up? I noticed that the clouds are floating really high up into the sky and my dough is actually really heavy. Ugh, almost can't even lift it up. I wonder what the clouds are made out of. Water. Clouds come from water. Well, how does the water get all the way up into the sky? The sun warms up the water molecules and causes evaporation. Say it with me, evaporation. And when the water molecules get high up into the sky, they actually cool down a little bit and form and condense into a cloud through a process called condensation. Can you say it with me? Condensation. And when those water droplets get really heavy and really big in the sky, it can lead to rain or snow, precipitation. And all of these parts are part of the water cycle. Now that we know how clouds are formed and where they come from, what are the different types of clouds? Maybe you didn't even know that there are different types of clouds with really cool scientific names. So, the first cloud we're gonna make is called a cirrus cloud. A cirrus cloud is actually really thin, wispy clouds in the sky. Can you make some thin, wispy clouds? Sometimes when I'm making cirrus clouds, I like to make a lot of different pieces of clouds, because that's how they look to me in the sky. Go outside and see if you can see any cirrus clouds in the sky. Can you make some thin, wispy cloud dough and show us some cirrus clouds? Good job, guys. Now you've learned about thin, wispy clouds called cirrus clouds that are high in the sky. They're actually so high up in the sky that they're usually made of little crystals of ice. All right, now that we've learned about cirrus clouds, our thin, wispy clouds, let's learn about a second cloud type, stratus clouds. Now these clouds usually cover the whole sky um, in a th and thick layer. You might need to put some muscle into this one to make a nice flat layer of clouds that can cover the whole sky. Can you do it? Wow, did you get yours thinner than mine? Maybe you can even use a tool like a rolling pen just to get it as thick and flat as you can and cover the whole sky. Good job, guys. I saved the best for last. It's actually my favorite. This is the cloud type where I like to lay in the grass, look up at the sky, and make really fun shapes. 
These cloud types are called cumulus clouds. These are the big fluffy clouds that change shape as the wind pushes them through the air. And that help you to like identify different animals in the clouds, different shapes. See if you can make your favorite shapes out of clouds, out of your dough. Let's see what I can make. Can you guys guess what I made? I'll give you a hint. I really love the ocean. And while if this really was a, a cumulus cloud, the wind might actually be moving it right now and reforming it into a new shape. See if you can make a new shape with your cumulus cloud. about where you come from today. Sure did. Well, thanks for having us, guys. I challenge you to go outside every day, look up at your clouds, keep your salt dough, and try to form your clouds and identify what type they may be. Sounds awesome. Thanks, Ashley. Bye, Cameron. Well, catch you later. <laughs>